Hi everyone, it's Toby Tutoring here. Today we are going to go through the proof of the derivative of cosecant x is equal to negative cotangent x cosecant x. Again, we know that this is true, but we're going to go through why and how we got here. Okay? Alright, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to know that cosecant x is equal to 1 over sine x. I assume you know this as this is um, something that's taught in math before you learn about derivatives, but in case you didn't, this is an important relationship. We're going to start off by making a substitution as well. We're going to sub this in for cosecant x. So we're going to sub in 1 over sine x. Alright, so d dx of 1 over sine x. Again, we're trying to prove that that is equal to negative cotangent x cosecant x. Okay, continuing on, instead of writing it as 1 over sine x, I'm going to rewrite this as sine x to the power of negative 1. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so now that we have it in this form, we're actually going to go ahead and take the derivative of this, and we're going to make sure that we um, use our power rule and then our chain rule as well. And when we use our chain rule, we have to remember that the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. That gives us negative 1 times sine x to the negative 2 times cosine x. All right. So... If we were to rewrite this, we could rewrite this as negative cosine x over sine squared x. Okay, now that we have this in this form, again, we're going to want to rewrite it so it's a little more simple. So we're going to say that this is equal to negative cosine x over sine x times 1 over sine x. Well, what do you know? 1 over sine x, that's the same as saying cosecant x, right? And cosine x over sine x, well, that's the same as saying cotangent x. So if I were to simplify this, oops, my keyboard moved, sorry. Um, if I were to simplify this, I could basically say negative cotangent x times cosecant x. And hey, isn't that the result I was looking for? Well, yes it was. So there you go, it's been proved. That's how we arrived at this result from the derivative of cosecant x. I hope this helped, and if it did, feel free to comment and like down below. Um, I would really appreciate it. Thanks.